to my channel. So a lot of you guys ask me how I curl my hair, how I get my beach waves, how I style my hair, all things hair. So I decided to film a hair tutorial for you guys, showing you guys how I get my signature beach waves because I have really, really curly hair. So I kind of have to do a different approach than people with straight hair. So if you have curly hair, then this video is for you. If you have straight hair, then this video is for you too. Um, if you guys want to see how I get my beach waves, then keep on. So my hair is super curly. I'm Portuguese, so I don't know if that has an effect on it. But yeah, it's out of control. And I never like just let my hair be natural, really, because I just feel like it's super unmanageable. It's really puffy. It's crazy, but I'm going to show you how to turn this to this. Okay, the first thing you want to do is we're just going to be brushing our hair out. And I know this is a no-no for people with curly hair, but we're going to be styling our hair, so it's okay. Curly hair and thick hair is amazing once it's styled, but I find that when it's not styled, it can look a little bit crazy. It's a love and hate relationship that I have with my hair. Although, I don't wash my hair that often, so I really only have to style it like once a week, which is nice. First thing that I always do is go in with a serum or like a frizz control um, serum spray, anything kind of like that. So this is the Marc Anthony's Frizz Free 8-in-1 Serum. As somebody with really curly hair, my hair is often really dry it's just the texture of my hair and it's not even that it's dead it's just you know the texture of curly hair so i like to add moisture back into my hair and just kind of lather it and coat it i do like five pumps because i got a lot of hair this just makes my hair look a lot shinier as well so you can tell that this is already kind of helps the frizz it's adding weight to my hair so it really helps the frizz just like minimize as much as possible and just adding more product to my hair I feel like kind of weighs my hair down which I personally like because my hair is so puffy next thing I'm gonna do is section my hair I'm just using my pointer fingers and I'm gonna go right above my ear and just do like an inch section twirling it up and just using a clip to hold it back so I got sent this package from Layla hair this is a wavy wonder wand and it's really awesome because it has oh god pause please as I was saying it's really awesome because it has three um, different size barrels and then just one um, attachment so you can use three different sizes with this whole system which I think is really really clever especially if you're like into doing your hair so I'm gonna go into the middle size today which is an inch thick and I really like using this size even smaller to achieve really nice beach waves any bigger I find that they look too much like curls so try to stick to like an inch or less than that I'm gonna put this up to 400 because my hair is thick and I gotta get through it. So if you guys have straight hair, you can totally skip this step, but since I have curly thick hair, I just wanna smooth down the root of my hair as well as the ends to get that really nice like messy beach wave. So I'm gonna go into a straightener. I just kind of run this through the top of my hair, my root area, do a quick little stroke because I don't wanna have too much heat on the middle section because I want it to take to the curl. So I kind of just go through quickly and then I really focus at the end as well because we don't want the ends to be like frizzy we want it to look nice and straight what you want to do is you always want to go away from your face so I'm gonna hold this above my head and I'm just gonna wrap away from my face leaving the tail out but I don't want to wrap really tight on the curling wand like I want this to be pretty loose on the curling wand if that makes sense always leaving the tail out and then you can just drop it so this is kind of what you want to achieve. And what I mean by tight on the curling wand is you don't want it to be like super tight like that or your curls are gonna be super spirally. You want it to be really nice and relaxed. That's why we're doing it pretty loosely, pretty spread out, I should say, on the curling wand, always leaving the tail out. If you have long hair, you can kind of travel down like that. So we're just going to repeat the steps now. It's pretty easy once you guys get the hang of it. 
straining the root, going quickly through, straining the end. So now when we get to this side, you want to do the same thing. You're gonna hold it up, but you're gonna turn away from your face again. So you're doing the opposite direction now, but always away from the face. And that's just gonna frame your face really nicely. So you wanna hold it on for about five seconds, depending how hot your curling wand is, you can kind of press your finger on the hair. And when you feel that the hair is hot, then you can release it. And we're gonna do it again. So one tip that I always do whenever I'm styling my hair is you never want to touch the curls while they're cooling because you want them to stay in that position so that they last a lot longer. If you start playing with your hair while it's cooling, the curl won't form. So um, as soon as you let your curl go, you just want to make sure that you don't touch it until the curl has completely cooled down. So I do my whole head and then I wait about like 10 minutes and then I brush through my hair. And that's why it really stays because I'm not touching it while the curls are hot. So that's pretty much it. Once we get to the top layer, we do a few different things, but I'm just gonna kind of move through the middle part of my hair pretty quickly because I'm sure you guys get it by now. And I personally like to smooth down um, my roots just because if my hair was ever up or you could see underneath my hair, I don't want you to see little curls peeking through, like my natural curls. Um, so that's why I do this. It's a little bit more work, but I really like the effect. So guys, for those of you that are in the GTA area, um, I'm doing a masterclass if you guys didn't already know. I feel like I've been talking about it so much, but I just feel like it's such an amazing opportunity and I have so much like sponsors and it's just gonna be such a fun event that I feel like I keep talking about it, but because so many people miss my stories and um, my videos that for those of you that um, are just hearing about this for the first time, that's why I'm talking about it. I wanted to do a general ticket so that the people that literally know nothing about makeup can really learn the basics about makeup. How to apply eyelashes, how to contour your nose, how to fill in your eyebrows. So we're gonna do a daytime look as well as a nighttime look. And that's really for the general consumer, the girl that's not amazing, the girl or guy that's not amazing at makeup and they just wanna learn a little bit more. So that price is going to be $150 for that ticket and you're gonna get $350 worth of swag. So it's already a no brainer. And then for the pro makeup artists or just people that want to advance their skills, I'm gonna be doing a VIP ticket which is going to be selling for $250 and swag bags for the VIP are literally massive. We already have like $650 um, value worth of products. We have Madonna skincare line, we have Glam Core mirrors, we have tanning products, makeup, all things hair. Um, we just have so much amazing products, so I'm just so excited about this. So for the VIP ticket, I really wanted to teach the pro makeup artist or the person that loves makeup a really advanced makeup look. And we're also gonna be touching on things like social media, how to grow your following, how I have got successful in the makeup industry and what my advice is to you. VIP tickets are almost sold out. We literally have like five tickets left. So if you guys are watching this and you guys want any more information on the class, I have a full description um, of the class down below as well as the difference between the general and the VIP ticket and all of the swag bag sponsors. So just head to my description after this if you guys are interested. It's just gonna be a really fun event, a good place to network with other makeup artists, get inspired, learn about the industry, and yeah, so I hope to see all of you guys there. And if you guys are not from Toronto and have no clue what I'm talking about, then I am so sorry. That's why I keep talking about it, just because I know it's going to be so amazing. And I don't want you guys to miss out on the opportunity because you're literally going to stock up your kit, learn some amazing things, and yeah, I'm so excited. So I hope you guys can come. I'm also doing a giveaway right now on my Instagram, Julia Dantis Beauty. So head over there. I'm going to be giving away a ton of stuff right now. All you have to do is literally follow me on Instagram and YouTube and then tag 
um, three friends on the comments section. You can repost my picture for more entries, but it's super, super easy and simple. So I really hope you guys head over there after this video and enter. Okay, so I know this looks a little bit crazy right now, but don't worry. We're gonna start transforming this and perfecting it. So you can totally leave it at this step and just run your hands through it, but I wanna give it that more messy approach. So I'm gonna start taking little tiny sections on the top layer, like sections a lot tinier than we've been using, and I'm gonna start curling them tighter. And I find that this really gives it a more authentic beach wave look because naturally, um, your hair isn't all the same um, size of curls if you just got out of the ocean. So I'm just going to kind of do little pieces all around the top layer and it just gives different dimensions, different sizes, and just really makes this look come together, in my opinion. So at this stage, you have your curls nicely formed. You've waited for them to completely cool down. Now we're gonna go in and mess these up with our fingers. So you just really want to run your fingers through, shake your hair a little bit, and really this starts forming the beach waves. Okay, so now we have our beach waves formed. I wanna go back in and add texture to my hair because I did just wash my hair Last night I let it air dry and there's not a lot of texture in my hair because it's clean. So I'm gonna go back in with a Mark Anthony product. I'm using my volumizing texture spray and I'm just gonna kind of spray this through all my hair to just get it a little bit more grippy. like to use hairspray just because this is going to be a messy look and I just want it to kind of form throughout the day so I'm going to stop here you can totally go in with hairspray you know your hair best so if you think that your hair is not going to hold you go in with that hairspray but here's the finished look it was actually really really easy to achieve although it kind of is time consuming the end result is so stunning and I just think that it looks so gorgeous so messy and Perfect, I love it. I'm so into beach waves right now. Let me know if you guys like this hair tutorial. If you guys wanna see any more hair tutorials, let me know down below because I am actually a hairstylist as well. And remember to go over to my Instagram, enter my giveaway that I am doing right now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll take care of you.